Meghan Markle was still relatively unknown to the British public when she and Prince Harry stepped out hand in hand as a newly engaged couple exactly a year ago. And now, experts have revealed how the former actress has gone from being Prince Harry's in love fiancé to showing her strengths as a confident public speaker and empathetic duchess over the past 12 months. Body language expert Judy James explained how Meghan presented herself and Harry as the new Hollywood-esque power couple on the block as they posed for photographs outside Kensington Palace this time last year. She described how the Duchess has since developed from a royal newbie, joining the Queen on an engagement in Cheshire just a month after her wedding, to a passionate and effective campaigner in her own right. Here, Judy author of the Body Language Bible tells Female what Meghan's body language has revealed about her over the past 12 months. Couple in love Meghan, 37, and Harry, 34, looked every inch the loved-up couple when they walked out of Kensington Palace holding hands shortly after their engagement was announced. Judy explained, Meghan used a lot of face-gazing appreciation signals with Harry and the kind of loving smiles that were in keeping with the couple's unveiling as the new Hollywood-esque power couple on the block. This continued with the Duke and Duchess's sultry official engagement photographs taken by fashion photographer Alexei Lubomirsky in the grounds of Frogmore House. Their photos took royal sexiness to a new level, with Meghan sitting between Harry's legs leaning back onto his torso or clutching at his arm looking beautiful enough to be in a perfume ad, Judy said. However, the body language expert revealed that even at this early stage, Meghan's underlying confidence was clear. The clues to the Meghan we are now seeing more of, though came in the way she used subtle tie sign taps and arm rubs to both steer the choreography during their photo call or to signal reassurance to a prince that we had never before seen as being lacking in ego and performance confidence," she explained. One minute she was flirting with Harry, the next she was using quasi-maternal gestures to control and dominate. Her small pats on his back while they were out in public showed high levels of confidence. Royal newbie while Meghan was already an accomplished actress, she still had to make the transition to full-fledged royal. This was particularly evident when the Duchess joined the Queen for a day of engagements in Cheshire in June, just a month after the royal wedding. We saw Meghan the newbie following the Queen around for a day to learn the ropes and looking sweetly childlike and submissive as she did so," Judy explained. Of course, she has immersed herself in the royal protocol, learning how to sit with her legs and arms crossed demurely. Meghan was also seen learning from Kate when they attended the Wimbledon women's singles final together in July. Judy told Female she could be spotted watching her sister-in-law Kate like a hawk or mirroring her at events like Wimbledon in a bid to pick up tips from one of the most consummate body language performers in the royal family. Passionate public speaker since then, Meghan has quickly established herself as a confident public speaker and passionate campaign. She gave several polished speeches while on her first major royal tour down under, championing causes close to her heart. Commenting on public speaking skills, Judy said, I expected her to be good, but she was phenomenal. Her words were perfectly pitched and crafted for maximum impact. She created empathy with her audience to create rapport, and she used congruent gesticulation to make her message authentic and memorable. She often works without the barrier of a lectern, sometimes with just a handheld mic.
she never performs the cute, submissive body language displays that even experienced business pitchers frequently do in a bid to ward off criticism. Judy added, the point with Megan is that her body language works as a public speaker because she obviously believes her own messages and is passionate about getting them across. Megan's body language shows all the hallmarks of her being campaigning world speaker in the future. Empathetic Duchess as well as showing her strength as a public speaker, Megan has also shown her ability to connect with members of the public during official engagements. The other side of Megan that is slowly emerging is her ability to create real bonds of empathy with the public she wants to help, Judy said. Watching her muck in with the women of Grenfell in their kitchen venture it could have been easy to imagine she was performing the kind of sight bite that politicians use, dropping in to hug and work for long enough for the press to get their shots in the story to reach the public. But Megan was doing more than just hugging and helping. Judy also described how the body language of the women she met at the Hub Community Kitchen in West London last week demonstrated the impact that Megan's had on the group. When she went back it was them instigating the hugs with her, using the kind of intense eye contact you get with good friends, and even holding her arm in a spontaneous signal of affection long after the greeting rituals were over, the body language expert explained. They weren't in awe, and they weren't treating her as a royal, more as a good friend.